Phil Kemp's asked, did you fight a lot as children and who would usually win? We used to fight a lot, yeah, uh, not just as children. We still fight now, but um, I like to put myself to win a lot more fights than he did. Older brother always wins, I suppose. Yeah, definitely. I, I let him win, to be fair. Lee Hewitt has asked, what would you say is the biggest reason for England's improvement over the past year or so? It's been a massive culture change, I think, uh, off the field, uh, obviously with the World Cup and stuff. Um, there's a massive change when Stewart's come in. And uh, I think as a squad, we feel that we're a lot tighter. And uh, uh, more importantly, we're a bunch of mates really going up there and playing for each other. Billy, Luke Barker's asked, what's your favourite cheese? After last night's cooking lesson, probably mozzarella. Really nice in a burger. Do you get much of it in the England camp, though? Uh, nah, I think we get ghost cheese, but that's not really cheese. It's more like chalk. <laughs> Georgina Ruth Hammer asked, as kids, out of the two of you, who was the troublemaker and who was the most well-behaved? Definitely him being a troublemaker, I think. Uh, He'd always be calling him a He's probably still a trouble making now, so uh, I'd be there just uh, looking after him and being the calm one for you. Is he saying he's a well-behaved one then all the time? Yeah, he definitely is. Um, I, used, I always used to get given holidays from school. Um, you can take that out however you want, but yeah, I was always the one sitting out. <laughs> Ross Kenrell Walters says, it's British Pie Week this week. Who would win a pie, pie competition out of the two of you? I reckon I'd go well, actually. Probably about myself. Um, but if he's... If it was KFC chicken, I'll definitely, I'll def definitely take the mantle, yeah. Definitely me playing, and I think, uh, just be quicker, really. <laughs> Hector Marin asks, who was your rugby idol growing up? Ah, uh, that's a weird one. I used to love watching uh, John Lowe play and just the way he used to dominate our position. Um, but um, obviously, being too slow and too, but I can't do that, so um, probably Jason Leonard, uh, just what, for being best he is, and like, out uh, that prop for a long time as well, so. Billy, rugby idol growing up? Um, probably similar to my brother, John Lomo, uh, just because he could score tries from anywhere. Um, but realistically, probably Lawrence Delalio and um, just for his swagger. One for you, Mako, and for Stuart McKenzie. Why is your song at Saracen smooth operator? <laughs> uh, we played a 20s World Cup in Argentina and um, we were warming up for a game and that came on in uh, on the stadium. And for some reason, when they asked me what song I wanted, I just remembered that. and. Sounded pretty cool to me and sounded right when I played, so it's good. Another song related one from Mark Woolard. Billy, who has the best music on the dance floor, you or your brother? Oh, definitely me. Um, I don't think it's a competition. Like, he's got like two middle feet, not even left feet. <laughs> no, What's not. a middle foot? I don't know, that's what I mean. He's invented it. <laughs> he's not even good enough to have two left feet. Greg Gaffney asks, who'd win an arm wrestle between the two of you? I'm stronger in the gym, so probably me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you accept that? Yeah. I don't really do gym. I do my rugby on, on the pitch rather than in the gym. Just finally, an England, England rugby one from Andy Harbage. If the Bunapola brothers face the Youngs brothers at doubles tennis, who would come out on top? Definitely us. Ben Youngs would probably have the speed and get in there, but I think we we'll back ourselves on the power. Serving volley game, is that your sort of tennis game? Uh, ace. Probably straight <laughs> ace.